alternatively, we can solve for this problem using the change, uh, change formula or the change approach. So what we will do here is we will only consider uh, the change in items and then we will take into consideration uh, prior year values. So for the quantity factor, in here we will have more than uh, more than actually more than three items. Actually, we have six items here. So for the sales, we have uh, sales quantity factor. So the key here is whichever item is mentioned in the in the in the title, in the name of the item being solved, rather, that is the change that we are compute uh, that we are using. So in here, we have the quantity factor. So change in quantity, which is so change in quantity, which is. 48,000 minus 50,000, there is a decrease of 2,000 multiplied by selling price last year, which is 160,000. So that is your quantity factor of, so we multiply this, 2,000 times 160, 320,000. And then we have our um, price factor. So the sales price factor should be change in selling price. So what would that be? 250 minus 160. And then we will multiply that with the prior year quantity of how many? 50,000. So 90,000 multiplied by 50,000, we have 4,500,000. And we have the price quantity factor. So from the name that we will have here, change in, change in price, which is 90 pesos multiplied by change in quantity which is 2000 units so we multiply those so the change in sales brought about a uh, which cost which contributed in the gross profit variation is 4 million take note that if you would add if you would add the price factor and the price quantity factor you would get 4,320 which is the same amount as the price factor in the statement approach so if you would ask me which one is the price factor here actually they are both price factors but it depends on the approach on solving the solving solving so for cost we have the quantity factor so similar in a similar way change in quantity is still 2000 units and we have the prior year cost of 120 pesos so we will get 2000 multiplied by 120 240000 and the price factor, cost price factor, would be the change in change in cost, which is two twenty five minus one hundred twenty, and then you would have the prior year quantity of how many 50,000 so we will get our price cost price factor of 50,000 times 105 
5,250,000. And for the price quantity factor for cost, we have the change in change in cost and change in quantity. So for our change in cost, it is 105, change in quantity 2,000, and then we multiply both. So we will get 210. So this is the change in the gross profit brought about by cost. So if we will add again 5,250,000 and 210,000, we will get the cost factor that is computed in the statement approach. So we, if we will see the change in gross profit that is presented here, we will get the same answer, negative 800,000 because there's a decrease in of 800,000. Also, if we will consider the quantity factor here, the two quantity factors, you will see the price quantity factor of 320, negative 320, and the cost quantity factor of negative 240. So if you will deduct the negative 240 from the three, negative 320, we will get 80,000, which is also the quantity factor in the statement approach. So that is the way for you to check the to check the amount that was solved here. Alternatively, uh, what I am usually using here is the uh, is when we compute for for the shortened way is I am using uh, I am using arrows to connote. Uh, to connote how the to connote how the uh, how the items shall be computed. So, for example, in here uh, we consider the current year, and then current year at prior year prices, and then prior year. So. Here, we consider first the sales amount, which is the current year sales is at 12 million and the prior year sales is at 8 million. So if we will compute for the current year sales at prior year prices, which is already considered or computed here, we have 7,680,000. And if we compute for the difference of current year and current year at prior year, we will get 4,320,000. This is your sales price factor. So the difference between current year and current year at prior year price is the price factor. While 7,680 minus 8 million, which is negative 320,000 would be your sales quantity factor which is computed using the using the change approach and also we will we can also do this for cost so current year cost current year at prior year prices and then prior year cost so we just have to lift those amounts so we have the current year cost of 10,800,000 and then the prior year cost of 6,000,000 and to get the current year cost at prior year prices we have 5,760,000 so current year minus current year at prior year we will have 5,040,000 and 5,760,000 minus 6,000,000 we will get negative 240,000. So this is your cost price factor and your cost quantity factor. So if you would add, if you would 
consider the net amount of the sales quantity factor and the cost quantity factor, you would get the quantity factor in the statement approach, which is negative 80,000. So that is how we solve for the uh, for for gross profit variation. But what if we have we have a limited given in the problem? Like in this next problem, so XC Company had the following for years 2019 and 2020. So we will compute for the sales price variance, sales quantity variance, cost price variance, and cost quantity variance. So for this one, we have already included this in an Excel file. We can use the arrows that I have presented a while ago. So we have the uh, current year, and then current year at prior year prices, and then prior year. So we will first consider sales because that is the amount that is given. So we have the current year sales of 330,000 and the prior year sales of 250,000. How do we get the current year sales at prior year prices? It is indicated here that uh, the sales price per unit increased by 10%. So if we have a 330,000 sales, if we will want to consider the amount, uh, the selling price last year at the same quantity this year, we will get, uh, we will divide 330,000 by 1.1 or 110% to get 300,000. So we can already solve for, so this is 330,000 divided by 110%. So now we can already solve for uh, the sales price variance, which is 30,000 rather, and this is favorable. So this is the sales price variance and the sales quantity variance is how much? 50,000 favorable as well. So now how do we solve for the cost price and cost quantity variance. So we will also use that format, current year, current year, prior year price, and prior year amount. So we have the current year value of 240,000, prior year value of 180,000. Actually, we can compute for the increase in quantity of uh, increasing quantity sold since the selling price for the current year at prior year price and the prior year sales is equal we can consider that the increase of 50,000 is, is caused by the change in quantity so we have that 50,000 divided by 250,000 so there is a 20 percent increase in quantity for the unit sold so since we have that so we have 50,000 divided by 250,000 we will get 20 percent so this is the quantity increase we can use that now to compute for the current year sales at prior year prices at prior year cost rather so we have 180,000 multiplied by 120%. So how much would we get? Times 1.2, we will get 216,000. Now we consider the arrows. So 216,000 minus 180,000, we will get a 
36,000 cost quantity variance. This is actually unfavorable since this is a cost. So there is an increase in cost. So 240 as well minus 216. We will get 24,000. This is also unfavorable. This is cost price variance and this is cost quantity variance. So for this, we can consider the quantity variance, which is 50,000 minus 36,000. We will get the quantity variance of 14,000, which is favorable. So that is how we compute for the gross profit variation of an organization or of the company. So we will solve more problems as we go along.